All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here. And with today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Kadavi sheath case for my iPhone 13 Pro. Now this color is the black version that I have here. I will be dropping a video to give you a really close look at the gray and navy blue that this also comes in. Now, if you wanna buy this case, you can go to kadavi.com and pick this case up for $35. So let's go ahead and show you real quick the case. So as far as the unboxing goes, Pretty simple, but I like to show off the boxes. I really like this simple Kadabi box. So it has this really cool uh, little graphics here, uh, picture of the case. It does say obviously sheath black. So it's drop tested to two meters or 6.6 .6 feet, whatever you wanna choose. Uh, MagSafe compatible and texturized grip. And obviously it does say it is for the 6.1 inch Pro. Uh, minimalist perfection here on the sides. Nothing really on this side. A little bit of a breakdown about the company. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy out. So you just push the case out and here it is. Now there is this little paper in here. So let's just go ahead and take a real quick peek at it. Uh, it says minimalist perfection. And then when you open it up, it kind of just goes over, you know, once again, the company and all that. And then obviously lets you know that you have a one year hassle-free warranty. Here's some of their social media and then a 30 day return and exchange policy that they have as well and you can go to support at kadabi.com if you have any other questions for them. So easy peasy. So here's the case. I have been using this case pretty much as my daily case for about a week and a half or so now. Absolutely love this case. Uh, the inside of it, as you can see, since it is MagSafe compatible, it has a MagSafe magnet built inside of it. So definitely very compatible with MagSafe chargers and accessories. I've been using it in my vehicle and it hasn't fallen off once off of my magnet, um, you know, MagSafe uh, car charger that I have inside my vehicle. Uh, it does have a serial number there. On the interior, you don't really have like any just noticeable like airbags or anything like that, um, but it is a flexible material, uh, but does, like I said, have this hard back inside. And then Kadabi branding there, genuine Kadabi products, manufacturer with shock light. So once again, that's kind of their thing with uh, drop protection. So let's go ahead and slap in the 13 Pro and show you what it looks like. So there it is installed on my 13 Pro. So as you can see with this black material, as you can see here, it's just this really cool grainy texture. That's about the best description I can give it. Uh, it's anti-fingerprint, anti-smudge. Uh, every now and then you might get like some white marks or something on there that you just need to wipe off with your shirt or something. You do have this high gloss line that runs across the top and the side here. Um, and there's a few other parts that have like a more of a glossy black, which I'll show you here in a sec, but absolutely love this material. Simple Kadabi branding there. And then as far as the camera bump lens goes, as you can see here, uh, really easy and good protection, very minimal, but it just gets the job done as you can see there. So no issues at all with getting your lenses protected, but it does come at a cost because obviously with this giant camera bump, you are going to have, uh, um, you know, a little bit of a larger um, hump sometimes or bump around your actual lenses, uh, but very minimal for this one. Um, as far as the sides go here, as you can see, you do have a raised power button and it is uh, that same texture, which is really, really nice uh, and does have a little bit of a gloss that wraps around it. And then going down to the bottom here, as you can see, uh, the whole entire bottom doesn't exactly have that same texture. It does kind of have more of a smoother texture there, but you do see the easy access to your lightning port and your speakers and mics down at the bottom. And then going to this side, obviously, as you can see, that texturized grip is just going all around the actual uh, phone case, as you can see here. You do have some raised power buttons that do have a plus and minus there. And then obviously a nice little cutout there for your alert slider. And then here at the top, nothing obviously, but I always like to show this angle now with the 13 Pro cases because you can see how that sticks out just a tad bit. On the front, you do have some raised lips around the screen, so you are getting some screen protection with this case. It's very minimal and very simple, but nothing too crazy. As you can see here too, there's a little protruding uh, part here at the bottom uh, where it is kind of just lipping over your actual uh, lightning port cut out there, but just wanted to point that out. 
And then here on the top, that's what it looks like with the uh, cutout for the actual speaker grill, which as you can see, it's just going around it. So very minimal looking and it is tempered glass friendly as well as you can see. So the next thing that I wanna do uh, with my tests, if you watched any of my videos, you know I like to do certain tests with my case reviews. So I like to do the shake test and see if it wobbles when you're putting it face down or back down. So let's go ahead and do back down first and see how shaky it is. So it's not terrible, but obviously there is gonna be that shake there a tiny bit, and that's to be expected because it is shaking with that camera bump. Now putting it face down, there is no shake at all, so it is very flat on the front, as you can see there, so definitely passes that test. So the next thing I'm gonna do is our clicky button test and see how clicky these buttons are. So let's start with the power button first. And volume up and down. So it definitely passes the clicky button test, so super clicky, very responsive buttons, absolutely love it. Next, let's go ahead and see how easy it is to get to that alert slider there. So let's go ahead and just kind of stick my finger in there. And as you can see, I'm just flipping back and forth between silent mode and not silent mode. So definitely super easy. I barely have any fingernails, so it works just fine um, for someone like a dude or a chick, obviously. But you know, if you don't have any fingernails, it's super easy to still get a hold of. And last but not least, MagSafe compatibility. Now with this being a MagSafe case, obviously it's gonna slap on just fine and ding, give us that animation. So it is MagSafe compatible. Obviously I knew that, uh, cause like I said earlier, I have been using this case as my daily case now uh, for about a week and a half or so. And I absolutely love this case and it has done flawlessly with all of my MagSafe accessories in my vehicle has not fallen once, that's on bumpy roads, everything. But as you can see here with the little hockey puck here, it's gonna find it very easily. It does stay on and I can shake it a lot and it's still not gonna pop off. And I can probably, there we go, I can eventually shake it off, but you know, that's obviously me doing some vigorous shaking there. So the magnets work just great guys. I mean, they really do. So definitely two thumbs up for the MagSafe magnets on the back of this case. So all in all guys, this is one of my favorite cases. I absolutely love the sheath case for my iPhone 12 and that did not change. I was super stoked to get my hands on this case for the 13 Pro. It's lightweight, it's slim, it has this just amazing texture. I just love this material. It just feels so, so good in the hands. With the case being such a sharp edge, 90 degree, you know, type of a phone, uh, it does give you a little bit of some rounded corners that don't make it feel so sharp. So I do like that it just kind of makes it feel a little more pleasing in the hands. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this case, guys. So if you liked the video, guys, hit that like button. If you loved it, you know what to do. Subscribe and ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless, and we will see you on the next one.